And China has uh, successfully tested the power system of its Long March 5 carrier rocket on Monday. The test marks the completion of the manufacturing phase for the rocket. Now let's take a closer look at the giant rocket that's scheduled to take off in 2016. <laughs> A final ground test for maybe the most powerful satellite launcher in the country. The massive rocket at 5 meters in diameter, that's equivalent to a 20-story building. And it has the power to carry 16 cars into outer space at one time. The capacity of the Long March 5 is twice the current capacity. It reached 25 tons to low Earth orbit, or 14 tons to geostationary transfer orbit. That capacity is the key to serving the newest chapter in China's manned space station development. China's stepping efforts on its manned space program and its ambitious plans include a permanent space station, manned lunar missions, and a possible manned mission to Mars. The new booster rocket will help to achieve that dream. Its major tasks include a lunar exploration mission and setting up a core cabin of the manned space station. The rocket will be able to carry heavier spacecraft into outer space than ever before, but it will also adopt a more eco-friendly solution. The Long March 5 is a giant rocket using non-toxic and non-polluting liquefied propellant. Its upcoming tasks include a lunar exploration project and a manned space station. The largest ever rocket will also help make space exploration a more economical venture. Its size will allow the new rocket to send both cargo spacecraft and satellites into space at the same time. Our objective for the new carrier rocket is to reduce 20 to 30 percent of the cost when sending spacecraft into outer space. After finishing all of its ground tests, the Long March 5 will be shipped to Hainan for its launch scheduled in 2016. Yang Zhao, CCTV.